basketball tournament won the first game of eight today. Welcome in. I am Dane Johnston here on Chassa TV. And we have the consolation, the first consolation semifinal of the day. It is in the girls' bracket. It is Del Norte, the Del Norte Tigers against the Vanguard Coursers. The Tigers, the eight seed, lost to Paonia yesterday, the top seed, 49-39. They come in with a 17-6 and six record. Vanguard fell to Lutheran in the other semifinal, or in the other uh, quarterfinal in that side of the bracket, 55 to 45, and they are the number five seed. So they are the top seed. They are in their, um, actually, uh, and they are in their home white jerseys, Del Norte in the uh, black and orange jerseys. And uh, that is what we've got here as we have a uh, eight five matchup and the winner here moves on to the consolation championship tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock and in that first Jordan uh, or for the Vanguard coursers yesterday in their loss to Lutheran Cassandra Solsky was the leading scorer with 16 points she also had four rebounds Bailey Heist finished with seven points and Caitlin Bauer had nine for the coursers. Angel McNulty finished with eight, so most of the starters were the scorers for um, Vanguard in that particular game. In For Del Norte, in their loss to the top-seeded Paonia, Molly McPartland, their leading scorer, averages about 14 points a game. She definitely hit her average. She finished with 16 points yesterday to lead the, lead the way. Lindsey Mosby, the second leading scorer, finished with nine points. So she was the, uh, the other leader there, and uh, we are ready to go here as we are about ready to tip things off. Welcome in here from the Pueblo Event Center on the Colorado State Fairgrounds uh, campus here as Del Norte and uh, Vanguard are ready to go. Vanguard, again, this is their first ever state tournament trip. They are a charter school out of Colorado Springs, so we will see how they do here as we get going here. And the tip is won by Del Norte. Molly McPartland with the bucket right off the bat, and she nails it, and it's quickly an early lead. Vanguard now has it on the other side. Almost a steal, a turnover, and that one is knocked away. And it is off of Del Norte, so it'll stay with the coursers here as we get underway. Just underway here. First consolation semifinal. Ball thrown in, goes to Perry Rose Sykes. Then off, and then she throws it away. Turnover. Goes back, and now another shot. That's Cassidy Jones, another starter. Two, two jumpers, two buckets. Starters for Del Norte today, same as yesterday. Lindsey Mosby, Eva Quintana, Cassidy Jones, Amanda McConnell, and Molly McPartland starting for Vanguard. The same starters as yesterday as well. Cassandra Solsky, Bailey Heist, Perry Rose Sykes, Angel McNulty, and Caitlin Bauer. Heist has it at the top of the key. Heist, the leading scorer, had a rough day yesterday, only finished with eight points. She's a averaged about 16 points a game. Ash pulls up, takes a jumper. That one's a bit short. Rebound was corralled by Eva Quintana. And then she is fouled underneath. Cassandra Solsky picks up her first foul. <coughs> and Del Norte drives it down. Eva Quintana, bounce pass to McPartland. And then she finds inside. Nice job finding Lindsey Mosby. And I got to tell you, this is night and day compared to yesterday. Del Norte is on the attack. They are playing confident so far here. Bailey Heist kicks it outside to Perry Rose Sykes. Perry Rose Sykes drives on the free throw line. Nice look to find Angel McNulty up and in for the bucket. That was a good give and go by Perry Rose Sykes and an Angel McNulty. And it's a two-point game, or actually a four-point game. Sorry, 6-2. And Jones again, shot up no good. 
And Lindsey Mosby rebound no good. And McPartland cleans it up. Gets an offensive, a couple offensive boards for a couple of the girls. And Caitlin Bauer, I think, with the bucket. And it's eight to four. Cassidy Jones down, finds Lindsey Mosby. Lindsey Mosby now looking around. And shot up by McConnell, no good. Ball goes out of bounds. And it will stay with Del Norte. Shot up by McPartland, that one is no good, but she is fouled. So Molly McPartland with the jumper, she's fouled. And the foul's gonna be on Perry Rose Sykes, that's gonna be her first foul. Shot up and good, the first one. Second free throw on the way, that one is no good. Rebounded by McNulty, and they push it up quickly. Caitlin Bauer pulls it out. Bailey Heiss, long three-pointer, no good off the side of the rim. Tracked down by Solsky. Bailey Heist has it back again and throws up a shot. She is fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. So Bailey Heist trying not to have what happened yesterday happen today. She was held in check for most of the game yesterday, and she is being aggressive so far, trying to get herself into the game. Has not scored yet, but is at the line to shoot two shots here. First free throw up and is good. She is on the scoreboard. It is 9-5 to five now. 5.04 to go here in the opening quarter. Second one up, and that one is good. She makes both. It's nine to six. McConnell goes down. Down, finds inside McPartland. McPartland misses the shot. And they're calling a, and it was a push on the shot. Foul was gonna be on Angel McNulty, her first foul. Third team foul, and McPartland makes the free throw. Second one up, and that one also is good. So Molly and McPartland with seven early points, seven of the 11. And it's 11 to six. Up, Bailey Heiss goes coast to coast. And next, her first bucket of the game, she's got four. Eva Quintana running into some resistance. Down inside, that goes to, to Lindsey Mosby. No good on the shot. McPartland gets the rebound and then gets her ball stripped away by Perry Rose Sykes. Nice look inside Angel McNulty. Shot does not go down. Rebound by Cassidy Jones. And they pull it down. Cassidy Jones down inside and finds McPartland. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound by Perry Rose Sykes. And then a jump ball going to be called to tie up in the middle. Position arrow goes to the coursers. Again, thank you for joining us. If you're just joining us online at Chassa TV, I'm Dane Johnston here, bringing you the beginning of this game anyway. Eric Metcalf should be joining me shortly. I see him here. He's just getting stuff ironed out, it looks like. So hopefully he'll be joining you here at least at the end of the first quarter or maybe at halftime, and he'll take over for me here. A nice offensive board, and now Bailey Heiss with a three-pointer. In and out, no good. And rebound, finally corralled by the Tigers. That was actually, I think, Solsky on the first three-point attempt. And then Heist. And it was actually McNulty with the offensive board. And then a travel on the other end as Eva Quintana gets a turnover. Ball goes back to the Coursers. Early three-point lead for the Tigers. 
It's 11 to eight. Bailey Heiss brings it up. A couple of players getting set to come in for the Tigers. Solsky with a three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Cassidy Jones. And they push it up. And McConnell out of the two. Amanda McConnell makes it. Her first points of the game. And now down inside. And McNulty with a shot. Gets the bounce and the bucket. Angel McNulty with four. Trading buckets here. It's fast and furious early in the day here. 8.45 in the morning. These teams aren't used to playing this early, but they don't show any effects of that, of being sleepy or anything. They are ready to go. Cassidy Jones jumper, no good. And rebound going to be fouled on the rebound attempt. Cassidy Jones' jumper does not go down. Foul was on Eva Quintana, her first. Coming into the game, A.J. Fresquez. And Allie Butler for the Tigers. Angel McNulty at the top of the key. And the illegal screen is called underneath. Foul going to be called on Cassandra Solsky. That is going to be... Her second foul, I think. And she's going to come out down inside. Cassidy Jones has her shot blocked by Angel McNulty. And Kayla Cantrell going to come in for Cassandra Solsky. Give her a break here. Out of the timeout, or out of the uh, possession there. Del Nord has it, is it knocked out of bounds. And then a steal, nope, going to be kept alive, and it is. Allie Butler going to take a three-pointer. That one doesn't find anything. And she may be feeling the effects of having gotten up early. So that three-pointer, no good. Turnover goes back to the, the Coursers. Again, if you're not familiar with Vanguard, the Coursers, it's a charter school out of Colorado Springs. The coursers are actually horses. That is their mascot. I'm not sure exactly what the reference is there, but maybe I'll try to research that for you later. Bauer kicks it outside to Bailey Heist. Now she drives outside, thought about a three, not going to take it. Now she heaves one up. It's off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound by Fresquez. Allie Butler going to get fouled by Caitlin Bauer. That's going to be Bauer's first. Reach in. Team's fifth foul already. And almost a steal attempt. Del Norte grabs it back. And my crack research staff is finding out what a courser is. Cassidy Jones almost gets it stolen away. She goes up for the shot. No good. McNulty again. And now we've got a foul underneath. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on there. Cassidy Jones, she doesn't get it. McConnell gets the offensive board. Offensive board, her shot doesn't go up. And to let you know, a courser is a swift and strong horse frequently used during the Middle Ages as a war horse. So there you go. They are war horses. That's what they are, which makes sense. Tigers keep it alive down inside, and Lindsey Mosby is going to be fouled. And that foul is going to be called on number three, Kayla Cantrell. That's going to be 17 fouls, a one-on-one -on -one situation. And early in the 1A Constellation semifinals, Gilpin County leading Kim 7-6 to six in one of the girls' Constellation semifinals. And so a one and one situation, the rest of the half, it's going to put Del Norte in the bonus. Mosby misses the free throw, rebounded by Caitlin Bauer. Bauer moving it around, 
Kayla Cantrell has it. Of course, is trying to cut into this lead. It's been three for a while here. It's inside of 20 seconds now to go in the first quarter. Bailey Heist from the corner for three. Got it, and we are tied up. Bailey Heist nails the jumper. She's got seven of the 13 for her team. And then she commits a, a touch foul there. And that's going to put Abby Ali Butler at the line to shoot a one and one. Also from the 3A state quarter consolation semifinals, Olaith is beating Florence. 7-5. No good on the shot. Rebound by Bauer. And then Heist throws up a three-pointer. No good. Almost makes it. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. And what was in control by Del Norte early, it's now a tie game, 13 all. Be back for the second quarter. Championships here on Chassa TV. And welcome back. Sorry for some technical difficulties there. Angel McNulty gets fouled and goes to the free throw line. And she makes both of them as we start this second quarter. Sorry for that. On um, Chassa TV, we're dealing with technology. Sometimes you have problems. Cassidy Jones with a shot. No good. Offensive board and a foul on Molly McPartland as she goes up. I'm Dane Johnston here from the Pueblo Event Center. It is the Class 2A Girls Consolation Semifinals. Presented in part by the, well, we'll hold on just a second here as McPartland misses the first free throw. By the Colorado Preps Network. In-depth coverage of every state tournament game in every class can be found online at coloradopreps.com. Get the quickest results and updated brackets at coloradopreps.com. And we invite you to join us for a full recap of the state tournament each night from 9 to 10 on the scoreboard show on the Colorado Preps radio network. McPartland made the second free throw, as you saw there. It is 15 to 14, one point game, Vanguard ahead. Down inside, Bailey Heist underneath, nice drop step, no good on the shot, gets her own board, and is fouled. Missed the first one, got an offensive board, and then got fouled. And then number 15, Eva Quintana, picks up her third foul. Free throw up by Bailey Heist is up and good. Coming in is Caitlin Martinez for Eva Quintana. It is a back to a two-point game, and Bailey Heist Makes it a three-point game in favor of the Coursers. She's got nine. She had eight all game last yesterday. Cassidy Jones underneath. No good on the shot. It's going to be off of, oh, I thought it was off of Caitlin Bauer. I guess not. So Cassidy Jones, after making her first bucket, has missed her last three for the Tigers. And it's a three-point game for the Coursers and the ball just underway here, second quarter. Bear with us here. We're getting stuff put back together here. Caitlin Bauer with a jumper. Got it. It's just a two, but she got it. She's got four. Allie Butler loses the ball. Now she gets it back. Shot up off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound by Cassidy Jones. Kept alive. Now down to Fresquez. Her shot partially blocked. And out of bounds. Now they get it into Cassidy Jones. She kicks it out to Butler. Oh no, lazy pass. Stolen away by Kayla Cantrell. And she goes up, hoop and the harm. She's gonna go to the line. She's got the bucket and she's gonna get a chance to complete the three point play here. And what quickly was a tie game and at the end of the first quarter has quickly become a vanguard. They've taken control of this game here. 21-14. They lead by seven. 
Coming out, Ali Butler. Amanda McConnell coming back in. As Cantrell misses the foul shot, as you can see there. And now a 30-second timeout here by Del North. They want to talk about it. It's 21-14, our score. Midway about two minutes in to the second quarter, as since it was tied 13-13, actually since it was 13-10, Vanguard now has uh, scored 11 of the last 12 points, as it's been 11-1 run here for Vanguard since. And did you know Colorado potatoes have only 110 calories? Did you know that Colorado potatoes have more potassium than a banana? And did you know that Colorado grows over 70 varieties of potatoes? Find out more about Colorado potatoes and register for a $100 Visa gift card at coloradopotato.org. Vanguard with the ball coming out of the timeout. Nice bounce pass to Kalen Bauer. The extra pass is not going to be very good. That one's going to go out of the out of bounds. So Kalen Bauer with the turnover there. And coming out of the timeout, it'll be Del Norton now with the ball, trailing by seven, 21-14. Illegal screen underneath going to be called. on Molly McPartland, I believe. That's going to be her first foul. And that is going to be Lindsay Mosby coming back in for Del Nort. Ball knocked out of bounds. Del Nord in a full court press here, and they may get the turnover. Nope, Angel McNulty gets the ball, corrals it on the inbound. The Coursers have the ball and the lead by seven. 5.44 to go here in the opening half. Kaylin Bauer kicks it outside. That's Kayla Cantrell, takes the three-pointer off the side of the rim. No good. Angel McNulty outside to Bailey Heist. That one no good. Rebounded by McPartland. And inside, Molly McPartland gets the jumper. Now driving out. Nice look inside. Oh, it's going to go out of bounds. And it's going to be Vanguard Courser Ball. Coming back in, a couple of starters, Perry, Van S Perry Rose Sykes and Cassandra Solsky. Angel McNulty going to get a bit, bit of a break here. Haste will throw it in for the Coursers. She gets it into Solsky. Trying to find Haste again. Or Heist, my mistake. Outside now, Heist drives baseline. Nice bounce pass to Mc, or Solsky. Now over to Caitlin Bauer. Her shot no good. Rebound by Fresquez. Lindsey Mosby tosses it around. It's Caitlin Martinez trying to get it inside. Finds Fresquez, and she tried to get it inside and turns it over as Caitlin Bauer comes up with the steal. Haste, now down inside, and shot up by Caitlin Bauer, fouled underneath by Molly McPartland, I believe, as Bauer missed the shot. Foul is on Molly McPartland. Her second foul. Shot up and good. by Bauer. Second one up. That one's off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Fresquez. 
And Del Norte's pushing it as they're now find themselves down 22-16. Keep it alive. McNulty has it, swinging it all the way around. Lindsey Mosby for three. That's a two, long two. Mosby makes it, and it's her second bucket. McConnell the assist. Bailey Heist has it. She loses it then, and turnover as Heist turns the ball over. 3.43 to go here in the opening half. 22-18 our score. First game of eight today. Girls Consolation semifinal. Del Norte Tigers and Vanguard Coursers. Vanguard leading 22-18. Amanda McConnell for three. Banks it in. You got to call those, don't you? I think you have to call that before you make it. She's got five. And it's a one-point game. 22-21. Kayla Cantrell. They're going to back it out. Reset things here. Haste with a three-pointer. That's not going to find anything. That's going to go out of bounds. Oh, it's kept alive and kept alive to Haste. Now she tries to go inside and finds Solsky. No good on the shot. Rebound by Fresquez. And quick jumper there by Lindsey Mosby. No good. Rebound by Perry Rose Sykes. Sykes kicks it out. They kick it out to Haste. Now down inside. Haste give and go. Can't get it to fall. Fresca is going to come up with the ball. Thought that was going to fall down, and instead it stays away, and it's still a one-point game. Tigers can take the lead back here if they can get a bucket. And that ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tigers. Other scores, Kim leading Gilpin County, 16-14 in the 1A ranks. Florence leading Olaf 10-9 in 3A. Shot up and no good by McPartland, but she is going to be fouled. Foul going to be called on Caitlin Bauer. Her second should be. It is. 1.45 to go in the opening half, 22-21. McPartland can tie it with a free throw. She misses that one. She's 4 of 7 from the free throw line, 2 four, 6 She's got 10 points. Can make it 11 if she can make that. She'll tie the game. No good on that shot. Rebounded by Heist quickly up to McNulty. Her shot no good. Gets her own board. Up and in. Hoop and the harm. She's fouled. Nice job there. Bailey Heist got the defensive board. Pushed it up to Angel McNulty. She's padding her offensive board stats by missing the first bunny shot. Making the second. 24-21 our score. Back to a three-point game. And McNulty has a chance here. Actually, they're going to call that foul on Allie Butler, her first. Shot up and good by McNulty. She's perfect from the line, three for three. She's got nine points. 25-21 in a four-point game. And the officials need to talk about it. Not exactly sure. They're going to run some clock. The clock did not start right away. And, yep. They're going to run four more seconds off. So instead of 138, it's 134. They get the ball in. Allie Butler for the Tigers. They'll reset things, try to cut back into this lead. Shot up by Lindsey Mosby, no good. Rebound by Perry Rose Sykes. They got to get it over the timeline. They do. Looked like Kayla traveled, no good. That ball knocked out of bounds. Good hustle play by Molly McPartland. To knock that ball out of bounds. It'll stay with the Coursers. Thank you for watching on Chasset TV. 
Nice spin move by Heist at the free throw line. Kicks it out to Sykes. No, or Solsky, no good. Rebound by Fresquez. Her fifth defensive rebound. Down inside. Now Fresquez goes up. No good on the shot. Gets her own board. And she is going to be fouled. She's padding her stats. Foul called on Perry Rose Sykes. That's going to be her second. Okay, her third. My mistake. I missed a foul somewhere. Shot up and good by Fresquez. She gets on the scoreboard. Coming in in the game, number 20, Lindsey Jensen. I think seeing her first action of the tournament, I don't remember her playing yesterday. Fresquez again with the free throw up, and that one is good. Folks, we're just having all kinds of problems with our computers today, I got to say. So hopefully we can keep things going here. Quickly, they try to get it up, and it is saved by on the missed shot. Oh, no, somebody is injured. Somebody is hurt. Lindsey Jensen on the near side, on the far side, I think injured herself. And we have an injury timeout here. It is... It is Lindsey Jensen who ran to save the ball. And she was grabbing her knee. I think she was on the edge of the court, and she fell down. She caught the edge of the court either with her ankle or her knee. See, the court is raised up here, folks, in the arena. It is wheeled in and put together, and it is a little bit higher than what the stadium floor is, the arena floor. So, unfortunately... It looks like Lindsey Jensen, when she was going forward to save the ball, kind of ran into the uh, the edge of the court and fell down. It is 25-23 our score, 38 seconds to go in the opening half. She's going to get up. She's not putting much weight on that right ankle, and I believe that's what happened. She's going to walk into the locker room as we're almost at halftime here. It's a three-point or two-point game. Vanguard ahead, 25-23. And so we are going to get things going here. It's going to be Vanguard ball now. Now inside 30 seconds. Cassandra Solsky almost traveled, kicks it out to Kayla Cantrell. Now 20 seconds. Bailey Heist. They're going to hold for the last shot. Now eight seconds to go. They get it to McDulty. Steal by Fresquez. And they pop it up quickly, and that's going to do it. That is the end of the half, I believe. Yes, it is. That is going to do it for the end of the half as the turnover did not lead to any points there. So it's still a two-point game, 25-23. Vanguard is ahead of Del Norte. I'm going to go ahead and take a break when we come back. We'll go over some halftime stuff, and then Eric Metcalf will bring in the second half. And I'm Dane Johnston here on Chassa TV. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally, like Henry and chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry, and chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. 
Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adams State College, great stories begin here. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adams State College, great stories begin here. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. And welcome back to halftime of the first game of eight games today. It is the Vanguard Coursers leading Del Norte Tigers 25-23. I'm Dane Johnston here at halftime. I'm going to pass this over here quickly in a few minutes at the end of the half to Eric Metcalf. He's going to go ahead and take the second half for you. And uh, then uh, I will be bringing you the uh, Wiggins game, and they will be taking on if I remember right, Sergeant here in the uh, second semi, uh, consul in the first boys consolation semifinal coming up right after this. Here at halftime, Molly McPartland leading the way for Del Norte with 11 points. A.J. Fresquez with seven rebounds. And Bailey Heist and uh, Angel McNulty both with nine points leading the way for Vanguard. And... Uh, you know, we've got uh, a couple other games going on right now in the, in the, uh, in the state tournament, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. But we want to do tell you that all of our coverage today and yesterday and tomorrow is brought in part to you by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. Coverage of the state basketball tournament on Chasta.tv is presented in part by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. They can handle your auto, home, and life insurance needs locally with qualified and knowledgeable agents throughout the state. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau insurance and you know coverage of all games involving teams from the san luis valley is presented in part by the san luis valley rural electric cooperative serving you for 75 years at your touchstone energy cooperative it's a powerful connection good luck to all teams from the san luis valley rural electric cooperative that's going to do it here um, at halftime we've also got uh bailey high three she's got nine angel mcnulty with nine caitlin bauer has got five points uh, Kayla Cantrell with two on the other side. Amanda McConnell with five. 
in addition to Molly McPartland, McPartland's 11, Cassidy Jones with two, Lindsey Mosby with four, and A.J. Fresquez with two. Go ahead and bring in Eric here, and uh, I will let Eric take things off. We're going to go ahead and send it back, and then we'll bring it back. Eric, um, you kind of saw a little bit of the first half there. Um, both teams are playing really, really um, – inspired basketball really for being so early in the morning and it's a tight game right now yeah and I think that first half really speaks to the overall depth of this 2A girls field you see the 8 seed here really standing toe to toe with the 5 seed a good first half and I expect this one probably will go down to the wire we'll get our money's worth early in the day today yeah absolutely <laughs> I'm gonna go we'll take a break I'll let you take over the second half and get to know some of these girls and uh, we will get this first game of eight more today we've got another long day today folks here on Chassa TV and join us for all these games. We'll go ahead and send it back. Be right back after this on Chassis TV. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Stories begin here. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Well, welcome back to the Colorado State Fair Event Center here at Pueblo, Colorado. It's the Class 2A Constellation Semifinal Round. Right now we're at halftime with Vanguard leading Del Norte 25 to 23, an entertaining first half as we get you set for second half action just a couple of minutes away here on Chassa TV. A reminder coming up next right here on Chasta TV, it'll be a, the first boys' consolation semifinal, the Wiggins Tigers and the Sergeant Farmers. Of course, you can find that game right here. should be a good one. And, Eric, I've got uh, 3A state consolation semifinal up at uh, CSU Moby Arena. Looks like uh, number one seeded Florence. Uh, wow, they got knocked out uh, into the consolation round. They did not realize that. They're up on uh, Olathe 14 to 10. So I'm with you, Tim. I hadn't seen that score. Back to the action here, third quarter we go. Class 2A Constellation Semi from Pueblo. Vanguard with the basketball. This is Bauer looking inside. And now the ball's gonna be knocked away. It'll stay with the Coursers. And Tim, please bear with me as I'm jumping in at halftime with some of these names. I will certainly do my best. You're all good. <laughs> Inbounding will be Cassandra Solsky. And right inside, boy, I looked down, and I didn't even see that bucket happen quick. Right off the inbound, Vanguard stretches their lead to four. Here comes Del Nort in a hurry right to the rim is number 15, Quintana. Ball is knocked away, controlled by Mosby, and then taken out of her hand by Bowers. Vanguard, a four-point advantage, now back into a half-court set and a traveling violation, what we called against Caitlin Bauer, who has had an outstanding tournament here in a Terrific first half for the Coursers. Quintana will bring it up for Del Norte. Del Norte, I think, wanting to push the tempo at times. Vanguard pretty good here, half-court defense. 
Inside turnaround shot on the way from McPartland is no good. Ball out of bounds, it will belong to Van Garch. Vanguard inbounding, and Heist will bring it up. Heist sizes up the defense, now into the corner for Sykes. And now a dribble drive play, Solsky got in deep and she'll be fouled. Solsky, a pair of free throws coming. Vanguard, a super job there, spacing the floor and allowing Solsky a nice lane to the basket. So free, free throw is on the way. First free throw, no good. Quick update from the 1A girls consolation semifinals at uh, Loveland. Looks like uh, Kim is on top of Gilpin County in the third, 24 to 18. Solsky to the line, she'll have one more. We're a minute into the third quarter. Solsky goes 0 for 2 on the trip and a foul. Del Norte pulled down the rebound, and I think they're going to get Caitlin Bauer here. I don't check that. Sykes on the foul, so that's four on Sykes. Big story there. So Sykes will probably be done for likely the rest of the third quarter anyway. And we'll welcome Kayla Cantrell back to the game for the Coursers. Del Norte will bring it up. Here's Butler, gets a high ball screen. Now pick and roll play inside. Jones with it, now a turnover. Jones gets it back, but she's bumped, and that is gonna be Caitlin Bauer, and that'll be her third. Jones will inbound, here's Butler under duress. Good defense there by Heist. Now inside, Jones got loose, lays it in, oh. and the foul. Nice finish at the rim by Cassidy Jones, took a lot of contact there and was able to sneak it in over the rim. Chance at a three-point play, and Del Norte still hanging around here, down just two, 6.35 to play, third quarter. Second free throw, or excuse me, three-point play completed there on the free throw. Bowers, by the way, commits her fourth foul on that play. Here comes Vanguard. Heist with it. Stops, now looking for help. Cantrell looking for a cutter. Bowers has it, good patience here by Vanguard. Now inside, ball nearly taken away into the corner. Haste, three-pointer, excuse me, Heist, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, McNulty puts it in. Long lead pass ahead looking for Jones and it's knocked out of bounds, a turnover against the Tigers. Two minutes into the third quarter. Back and forth we go. Three point, Vanguard lead. Bauer with it in the middle of the floor. No problem there, breaking the kind of token pressure from the Del Norte Tigers. Heist stops, thought about a long two, now outside for Cantrell. Man to man defense here for Del Norte. And now Heist again surveys the defense. Here comes a play from the sideline, trying to get singled up on the post there and we'll have a push as they did get Solsky the ball in pretty deep there. Vanguard ball out of bounds. Foul will be called on Amanda McConnell. That is her first. Vanguard inbounding under their own rim. Solsky gets it in. Now a kick out. Heist couldn't catch it cleanly. Now Heist spins on McConnell into the corner. Solsky penetrates outside for Cantrell. Again, trying to get something going in the post there. They do a good job of spacing the floor. There's a little pick and pop play and a nice finish oh. by Bailey Heist. Heist having a nice ball game and Vanguard pushed their lead to four. Now here's Lindsey Jones again in attack mode, going to the rim. She'll be fouled. Two free throws coming for Del Norte. Personal foul be ticketed to McNulty. That's her second. 
And the fourth team foul now against the Coursers. First free throw, no good. She missed it short. Jones four points in the ball game, trying to make it five, and she does as she knocks down one out of two. Five minutes to play, third quarter. Inside, McNulty catches. And now Heiss has a lane. Heiss got in deep, and she's going to be pushed by McConnell. What a quick first step there by Bailey Heiss. And she got by the defense. McConnell a little late to recover, and she'll be guilty of the push. And for Amanda McConnell, that'll be the second foul, third team foul. Charge to Del Nort. Heist to the foul line, first free throw, good. Unofficially, we have Bailey Heist with 12 points and now make it 13 points here in the third quarter. Leading the way for Vanguard. 33-27, a six-point game. Here's McConnell with it. Looking into the post. A lot of contact, no call though. And an outlet pass, here comes Vanguard. Solsky down the lane. Knocked to the floor, no call, can't finish. And then we'll have a foul on the rebound as Del Nort clears it. So we'll go the other way with it. Molly McPartland caught it in deep there. Turn around, might have hurried her shot a little bit for Del Nord. And then Van Gord unable to capitalize in transition. Butler bringing it up now for the Tigers. Nearly lost it, gets it back. Now all the way to the baseline. She's stuck, looking for help. Jones comes to get it. Trying to get McPartland there on the block. They find her, but she's triple teamed. Ball bounces out, Butler. Two-pointer won't go. Fresquez up high for the rebound. And we'll have a tie-up. Possession arrow belongs to the Tigers. McConnell will inbound for Del Norte. Looking for the lob, wasn't there. Now McCartland right back out to McConnell. Baseline jumper short. Fresquez the rebound, and she's going to be fouled. So A.J. Fresquez, the sophomore, for Del Norte having a serious impact in this game in the paint. Another rebound for her. Del Norte will inbound underneath. Fresquez inbounding, looking for somewhere to go. Jones gets free on the baseline and she lays it in. Cassidy Jones having a tremendous second half here. And Del Norte back by just four, midway point of the third quarter. Haste will bring it up, gets a ball screen, doesn't use it. Now Cantrell. They clear out for her. Cantrell wants to work against Butler. Good defense there. Now outside Haste. Looking into the post. Another kick out. This is a good defensive series here by Del Norton. It ends with a steal. Boy, all the rotations right on point for the Tigers on that set. Here comes Del Norton. McConnell inside looking for Fresquez. Turn around, fading away, won't go. Rebound McPartland, put back, won't go. But she's fouled. A couple of free throws coming. And you're starting to see now the presence in the paint for Del Nort controlling the backboard a bit here. And it's really keeping them in the game. Third personal foul will be charged to Breland Bowler, excuse me. And McPartland gets the first three-point game here. Consolation semifinal round in Pueblo. And McPartland gets a pair. So 33-31. Sure appreciate you joining us here on Chasta TV. Here's Cantrell for the Coursers. She'll cross the timeline. Butler picks her up. And Vanguard will spread the floor. Five out here for the Coursers. Wanted to take her defender off the dribble, can't. Now another dribble drive. My final game, Pueblo Event Center in Pueblo. Del Norte with the basketball to be kicked out of bounds and stay with the Tigers. 2.07 to play, third quarter. Vanguard 36, Del Norte 31. 
Tigers will inbound on their own baseline. Mosby looking for somewhere to go. Ball's knocked away, and Heist comes away with it. Here comes Vanguard. Another empty possession there for the Lady Tigers. Now Heist lines up a three. No good. Rebound Butler, and Butler wanted to get out on the break, but she was bumped in the lane. And it'll be Cassandra Solsky committing her third foul there. The eighth seeded Tigers in this round after falling to the top seeded Paonia team yesterday. Vanguard here lost a game to Lutheran yesterday. Lutheran the four seed. First free throw good for Butler. And Allie Butler, I believe, on the board for the first time here today. And Butler knocks them both down. Those were bonus free throws. They're one and one, the eighth team foul against Vanguard. Here comes Vanguard in transition underneath. McNulty couldn't get it to go, rebound Tigers. Now Butler wanting to get out on the break. Vanguard, nice job getting back defensively. Now Mosby on the block, turnaround shot, no good. Fight for the rebound, cleared by Jones. Jones, long two, won't go, gets her own miss. Outside for Butler. Now McConnell will take a three, no good. Jones again there on the offensive glass and once again pulls it down. Now outside, Butler will reset for the Tigers. I've talked about a lot here, Del Norte really dominating the backboard here in the second half. Keeping them in the game, 36-33. Tigers could tie it here with the three. Inside, and it's laid in by Mosby. Inside a minute to play in the third. A one point game here. Vanguard with the basketball. Heist will get a ball screen. Now into the corner, McNulty. Doesn't look at the rim. Now Heist sizes up the defense, wants to go off the dribble, and there's a push on the perimeter. Jones trying to check Heist. Fourth team foul against the Tigers. Now long inside pass. Heist turnaround. On the block, won't go. Offensive rebound. Vanguard will have another possession here. 28 seconds on the clock, third period. Cantrell trying to penetrate, loses it. Heist picks it up. Now a long three. That's good from NBA, and it won't go. Rebound to McPartland. Butler will have it. 12 seconds to shoot. Long pass, looking for Jones. Jones, three-pointer from the wing for the lead. No good. Rebound, Vanguard. Now the ball is loose. Jones picks it up again, just throws it towards the rim. McPartland had it for a moment and lost it out of bounds. Del Norte, one more opportunity here. They'll inbound with 1.2 on the clock in the third quarter, trying to take the lead going into the fourth. Oh, I stand corrected. It'll be Vanguard basketball. I thought he pointed for Del Norte. Vanguard inbounds, and it'll be touched in the backcourt. And that's the horn in the third period. 36-35, the Coursers lead the Tigers. We'll take a break on Chassa TV. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. $3 Coke and a $4 hamburger. Yeah. Welcome back, Chasta.tv. Consolation semifinal here, girls two-way action. It's the eighth seed of Del Norte Tigers trailing by a point here against the Vanguard Coursers. Good game going, appreciate you being with us. A reminder, next up, here at the State Fair Event Center in Pueblo will be the Wiggins Tigers and the Sergeant Farmers. Our own Bane Johnstone will have the call on that game. Should be a fun one. That's a good matchup, two very athletic teams. Yeah, 
both Wiggins and uh, Sanford showed themselves very well last night, I thought. I agree. I, I'm impressed with both of those teams, well-coached and very athletic kids. So I think that's one of the better games on the day, potentially, even though it's here in the consolation bracket. They'll yeah. both be hungry for a win. <laughs> We're going to put Dane on here. Yeah, let's bring Dane in. Dane, when we get a moment here, we'll, we'll ask for your thoughts on that one coming up, Wiggins and Sargent. Tim and I think that's one of the one of the better matchups today. Vanguard with it. McNulty sizes up the defense. Courser's in no here, hurry here offensively. And there's a traveling violation. Solsky moved her pivot foot as she put the ball on the floor. Yeah, you know, uh, wow. <laughs> That's a little That's hot. That's pretty hot. Yeah, yeah. sorry about um, that. Yeah, you know, I, I think it all depends on which Wiggins team shows up. I mean, if, if they're not motivated to play, it may not be a very good game. But, yeah. uh, you know, it all depends. They were really intent on getting out of the out of into the semifinals and not in the consolation bracket this year. And uh, we'll see if they come out ready to play today or not. But I, I agree with you. It should be a barn burner. It could be an 80 to, you know, it could yeah. be a lot of points scored. One of those games that on paper is a, is a fun one. We didn't see Wiggins' offense at full tilt because Lyman's half-court defense is – Pretty outstanding. I've seen it yeah. firsthand two weekends in a row here. <laughs> and there is Mosby. Nice job by a, Lindsay. Yeah. Yeah, falling down and Mosby puts it in. Big bucket there. And Del Nort takes a one point lead here. Not yet a minute gone by in the third quarter. Forcers with it. Solsky right in front of her bench there. Now outside for McNulty. Bauer is back into the game playing with four fouls as they go inside for Bailey. Heist, and the ball is knocked out of her hand and out of bounds. We've seen some good basketball here in Pueblo on this girls bracket here where those top four teams look outstanding Boy. from what we've seen. Uh, certainly Paonia, how about the Akron Lady Rams yesterday, a big win. Yeah, e absolutely. ECA, Lutheran, all four of those teams, very uh, very talented. We'll have yeah, a foul away from the ball here. Yeah, all those four with just one loss basically or the top three seeds, and it was kind of a, a eeny, meeny, miny mode to, to seed them. They, the, the seating committee probably got it right as Heist takes the three-pointer there, misses it. Oh, ball and goes out of bounds. It'll belong to Vanguard. Yeah, I agree. That is kind of a, you know, anybody could be one, two, or three there. So, and uh, that semifinal, I'm going to have that semifinal tonight between Akron and. Uh, that is going to be and, a good game. And you're going to be calling it as well on the radio, I guess. Yeah, I'll you? be I'll and, be uh, uh, calling that for Akron uh, hometown radio, and that, right. that's going to be a good one. I that's really look be, forward to yeah, that. Absolutely. Ball game. Here's the ball stolen away. Jones has it for Del Nort. Now she'll slow down and look for help. Del Nort really unable to get out on the break here against Vanguard as Bauer knocks the ball out of bounds. Tigers will have it. 6.30 to play here in the fourth quarter. Del Nort a one point advantage. Jones will inbound. Now Mosby back to Jones. Here's a cutting. Butler, who has the ball taken away, contact there, and Bailey Hayes stepped out of bounds. Big stop there, 2.20 on the clock. Vanguard with the basketball, a three-point Tiger advantage. One thing we didn't mention was turnovers, but those are huge as well. Here's Caitlin Bauer outside for Heist. Heist steps back, three-pointer, left it short. Rebound yeah. McConnell. Can't take that step back three-pointer. You got to step into that, Bailey. Maybe, maybe a little bit of a force there. Yeah. Still two minutes, a lot of time. Here's McConnell handing off for Quintana, who lost it, and Heist with the steal. Should be a run out on the other end. Heist slows herself down and puts it in. And Heist is their best player for the courser. She averaged 16 points a game. And here's McPartland on the other end. Can't finish at the rim. Mosby, the rebounder, putback won't go. Now a battle for the ball. It'll be a tie-up, and the possession arrow belongs to Vanguard. Well, I said it early in the game. Bailey Heist had an off day for her she yesterday. Did. She only scored eight points in the loss yesterday, and she came out uh, as a barn burner today in that aggressive. first half. She was aggressive, trying to get to the hoop. She had uh, uh, nine points at halftime and uh, is really trying to, to get her team a victory here. Yeah, you can see kind of the look in her eye there. Wants to will her team to a win here at Pueblo. Nobody wants to lose their first two and head home early. No. Here's Solsky with it. 126 on the clock. Heist inside. Now left it for Bauer. Baseline jumper won't go. And a big rebound by Cassidy Jones as Sykes commits the foul. That's going to be five 
against Perry Rose Sykes. You know, that's a situation there, I think, where Heist should have just taken the ball to the hoop. She decided to do the extra pass and try to give a teammate the bucket, and she was in the lane. She could have just laid it up and in. Instead, I, she threw, threw the extra pass. I would agree. I think at times she's maybe forced the shot a little bit that time. I thought she uh, put herself in pretty good position there, got into the rim. And uh, certainly Bauer on the baseline, a good option, but I think I'd take Heist at the rim yeah. any day. Yeah, because <laughs> you, you take a, a four-foot layup as opposed to a five-foot jumper, and uh, and uh, Bauer made it uh, – was, was short on that, and it, unfortunately Sykes fouled out, and uh, now you don't have her in the game here for the last 121. Still a lot of time here. Del Norte can make this a three-point game once again. Mosby to the line, first free throw, good. Clutch free throws here down the stretch. Del Norte has shot him well. In the 3A consolation semifinal, Olathe, the five seed, has is putting it on Florence, 43 to 28. They're going to win that game. Florence, a little bit of a disappointing weekend for them, yeah, certainly. Absolutely. Mosby gets one out of two. It's a two-point game. Here come the coursers, and that's a silly foul on the far side. As Butler ran over a Vanguard player, and I think it's going to net free throws. Let's see for Butler. That is foul trouble on her. Uh, I no. don't think so. No. They brought her out of the game, but just her second. So Kayla Cantrell to the line. She can tie it here with 1.10 to play. First free throw, good. Calmly knocks down. That's the big one. There, yeah. The one and one. That's a big shot for uh, Cantrell coming off the bench to nail those free throws. You're in crunch time now, 1.10 to go. Cantrell will have one more. And we're all knotted up here. 45, 45, 110 to play. Del Norte shouldn't be in any big hurry here. Jones brings it up. Courser's out defensively. Dangerous pass there. Quintana picks it up. Now back to Jones. Jones penetrates and she double dribbled. Ugh. Just got a little bit sped up there. And I mentioned when they crossed the timeline, they shouldn't be in any hurry. No. With outside a minute to go. But a turnover. So Vanguard has it. And here comes. Bailey Heist, I would say the same for Vanguard. This needs to be a good possession here. No sense yeah. in getting in a hurry. Yeah, if you can if you can get away with it, I'd hold it for the last shot if you could. And that looks like Vanguard's idea. They really spread the floor well here. Now Cantrell with it. Del Nord out to defend. Can't foul. Cantrell got Carry. the corner. Yep, she, she carried, carried it. So dribbling violations on each team here in the final minute, and the Tigers get it back. Apple cherry on the turnovers. Take your pick. <laughs> Well, that one they had to call. That's one of those advantage, disadvantage things, and she certainly picked the ball up to get the corner on the defender. So a well, good call, the official right on top of the play. And I hate to say this, but could we have our first overtime game of the tournament? It's possible. It is certainly possible. It looks, looks uh, right now tied up, 38 seconds. Both teams have been solid defensively uh, throughout the day, so certainly uh, Del Norte with the length of the floor to bring it up. Vanguard won't sit back on their heels here defensively. And the game is over in at Moby Arena. Olathe did defeat Florence 45-28 in one of the 3A consolation semifinal games. That was a butt kicking right there. By a, what is that, a five seed or a yep. yeah. over one seed? Well, and it's weird, though, in, floor, in the 3A ranks, they, it, it is a true bracket so they didn't reseed everything it's just everything moved over so Florence really wasn't a one seed technically coming into this but you know they were that was the way it was seeded right but I mean it really they weren't really a one because they didn't reseed again it was just that's a weird thing it's a difference between 1A 2A and 3A. Del Norte with the basketball 18 seconds on the clock Mosby has it. a lot of pressure there close to five seconds she needs to get rid of it and she does now McConnell 10 to shoot. Del Norte should get the final shot here. Quintana with it under duress. Now inside, Mosby has it in the lane. Got a good look. She got she it. it. Oh, oh Nelly. Oh, oh. Mosby knocked down. Timeout. A, a timeout was lane. called. Vanguard got a timeout before the clock sounded. They got a timeout, but we'll talk about how much time was left. This, they're going to give them something. It's going to be 1.5 oh. seconds. They're going to give them 1.5 seconds on the clock. And I just watched it on the replay as it's a little bit behind here, and it, they're pretty close. Looked like about 1.2 on the uh, 
the uh, clock on the basket. So. Wow, how about Lindsay Mosby wow. coming up Clutch. huge? She is the second leading scorer on this team, averages about 11 points a game, scored nine points yesterday, had kind of an off night, off day for her as well yesterday, and has really been kind of quiet today, but uh, well, came up with a huge bucket here. Well, she got a great look there. You know, the Tigers did a lot of dribbling around the perimeter. They were making me nervous, possibly looked like they wouldn't get a shot off at all. But yeah, exactly. when Mosby got the ball, she put her head down, a smart play to get into the lane, possibly draw contact. Vanguard, you could tell, didn't want a foul. And she got a great look from 10 feet and just drilled it right between the eyes. That's a big bucket there. Well, this is going to have to be a baseball pass by Vanguard to try to get the ball somewhere just past half court where they can put up a decent shot. Because you know, the general rule here, 1.5, you probably get one dribble, yep. but it's got to be quick. The other option they have, they could catch quick and call another timeout if they have it. And that's maybe where throws gonna... ahead, and it's knocked oh. away by Mosby. Oh, my goodness. And a big collision there. And we'll just hold the phone for a moment. The horn sounded, and I think that's going to be the ball game as the officials exit. So Mosby, the hero, a little bit shaken up on the play. Wow. She knocks down the go-ahead basket and then knocks the ball away. And as time expired, a kind of incidental collision. Yeah. There, nothing dirty at all between Bauer and Mosby, two players just going after the loose ball. Yeah. Wow, what a game here. Constellation yeah. semis. Does it get any better than that at a state tournament? I mean, that's the way That's the way it should be. Absolutely. A hard-fought game. Certainly, uh, certainly congratulations to the Vanguard Coursers. A fine showing here in Pueblo. But how about Del North, the eighth seed? They got bounced yesterday by Paonia, but came back this morning. Hard-fought game, and they win it here by two. All right. We'll step aside, I guess. Coming up next. Dane Johnson will have the call. It'll be the first boys Constellation Semi, Wiggins and Sargent. You don't want to miss that one. Stick around on Chassa TV. Okay, we're off. All right. Very good, guys. Thank you.